everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel for the finale of how NaNoWriMo went for me. So if you saw my Tuesdays vlog, you saw that I was really close to hitting 50k and winning NaNo. So I went ahead and did a live stream on that Wednesday and got to 50k in that live stream. And I was so stoked about that. Um, I had written over, was it like 3,000 words or something to hit that in that two hour time span. And so today is Sunday that I'm filming this. I have not gotten to write today and I still have tomorrow, Monday the 30th to finish this book. What I've learned through this whole journey is that I cannot fast draft at least the first half. So typically act one and part one of act two are my best um, like chapters percentage wise to make up the book. And after that midpoint, I like completely what I consider, I guess, fast draft the rest. So um, it's very minimal. I really tried to finish out people's arcs and the story arc and wrap everything up. And I think that's what's going to help me get the rest to 60K. So right now I'm at 55,522 words. Um, I know some of that is like directional stuff. So once that's taken out, uh, I don't know where I'll be. Um, but I really want to hit 60K still by the end of November. And so it'll be close. I think if I do, oh, I think I can do another thousand, maybe 1500 to finish off Harper and Sammy's last bit. And then I think my next chapter is going to be a month in the future. So um, they kind of squared stuff away between Harper, Link, and Sammy. And then I'm just going to like pretend everything was kind of the same, do a month later. And then um, all the stuff that I had originally planned to be the ending anyways. And hopefully that's another at least a thousand. I'm hoping for 2K. <laughs> um, we'll see. So yeah, it might actually be shorter than 60K. But my act two part two was extremely short. But the thing with like practicing the craft and knowing story structure is that I know exactly where I need to go in and add stuff for scene wise or conversation wise. Um, like I said in my last video, my aunt tag kind of dropped off. So I need to go in and work on her. I need to work on Harper's family. I need to work on her and Link a little bit more before the bad guys close in. There's just a lot to go back and add. I think my first half of the book is pretty solid. However, there's a lot of banter in it. Granted, this banter like does go somewhere. It has a purpose, so I'm hoping I can keep it in there, <laughs> but we'll see. And then um, mostly I'll be needing to work on the second half of this draft. And um, Act 3, I've also listed some places where I need to go back in. And like Harper got to talk with her dad about some stuff, but I wanted, I forgot to put in some stuff that would affect her younger sister too. And to just be like, Dad this is how you destroyed me, like my mental health and how you like helped these lies that I believed. Do not do this to Sage. Like I want her to have that conversation with her dad. And so um, there's a lot of, there's a few things I need to go back in and tweak like that and um, just add for the fuller story um, some things that my brain wasn't tracking in the moment. And thankfully in Trello, I just go to that chapter and I add a checklist and I'm like, hey, Go back and add this conversation. Hey, go back and add this scene. Um, right now, there was, thankfully, I wrote down in the very beginning, Harper sees a painting that she likes in her best friend's mom's shop. And um, somehow, I guess, Link might have found out about it. I think maybe, oh, maybe he was there with her. I have to go back because my brain pants so much. Like, if I don't leave notes to myself, I will not remember to add them back in later. So this painting that she loves, I'm having Link have it as his like parting gift almost and so um that's gonna make her heart even be more like oh my gosh why did I like whatever I don't oh my gosh I'm like spoiling the ending but whatever um and so uh, I want that painting to come back I want some other things to come back and um they were watching the turtle nest they were monitoring them in the beginning and so that's kind of why I needed to flash forward a month I could not sustain this for two full months like I just I don't write that way I guess and so 
I'm skipping a month and then they're going to watch the turtles climb free of their nest and battle their way to the ocean and so she's gonna have all of her thoughts and connect it to her life and um, where she's at and where she wants to go and it's just gonna be like this whole big moment and part of me like this is probably better metaphor if she were leaving high school going to college but she's about to start her senior year instead so we'll see if that needs tweaking as well um, if it did get tweaked then her whole premise in the beginning would have to change because she doesn't want anything serious with anyone that she's gonna see at school again or that she works with and so that only worked if she was going back to high school otherwise it would just be a free-for-all summer where she could just do she could kiss anyone without any repercussions basically so if that changed then her and Link's scenario would change a little bit and like vice like all that stuff so we'll see how I feel about her age and what grade she's going into right now but yeah so I'm hoping to finish the book by Monday night um, I, yeah I don't have that much left I'm really hoping at least 3,000 words would be nice <laughs> and typically I usually have like at least a week left over in NaNo after I finish a draft and I take that time to read through and add the stuff that I just talked about but I'm like so stressed and overriding right now <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna leave the notes for myself and just let this story rest because I always need to change stuff later anyways and so I'm like why would I waste my time going through right now and trying to fix stuff and so um, I'm going to definitely take all of December break from it typically I get really antsy and come back a week or two later but I have hashtag goals edits to work on my mentor has been giving me her notes back and then um, Bridie's reading through Project Emma right now so I have those edits to go make so like I'm gonna work on those in December and just let this nano project rest I'm very proud of what I accomplished with it and um, it was like pretty cathartic in what I got to write in it and um, there's another piece of myself in this book as well so like all three of my YA contemporaries with romance like have a piece of me and I'm very proud of what I accomplished with this one I do know I need to go in and make it more nuanced and like deeper um, more introspection more internalization and then just the way that I work out what happens I think uh, I need to make that a little bit better so definitely, this is definitely a first draft. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really, really, really excited about this book. I'm excited about all three of my books, and I hope that an agent is too. But oh, Nano is over by the time y'all are watching this. So woohoo, we did it, guys. We made it through 30 days. I made it through 30 days of Instagram challenges. Oh my gosh, I did it. Let me know what y'all are most proud of in the comments down below, what you accomplished this Nano. Maybe it was 10K. Maybe you revised three chapters. Maybe you got through something. Like, I want to know down below. And let me know what your plans are for December, whether you're going to still finish your draft, whether you're taking a break, whether you're going into edits and revisions whatever you're doing. Um, I'm going to work on these other two books and just do a lot of reading in December. I just want to read. Oh my goodness. And so um, I think I'm just going to relax, read and work on edits, which don't take up as much brain space. Like I won't be confusing voices if I read and then go to my book and write some stuff. So um, that's great. That's what I love about being able to uh, edit is because I can read again when I draft like I can't read. So <laughs> let's crush this last month of 2020 let's make december really amazing or really um like relaxing and just be grateful and thankful for what has happened this past year i'll be doing a vlog about that for me so i'm not going to talk about it too much here and my plans for 2021 i'm so excited december is the best because you could talk about like like you just reflect on what the past year has been like and what your hopes are for the next year and I love that like feeling it's just a magical time to me so um, in those videos I would love if you could also comment and reflect on your 2020 and share your hopes for 2021 but this is it for the nano video I hope y'all had a great time in nano I hope y'all found some new community friends and that you met any of the challenges or goals that you set for yourself thank you so much for watching and following along and I will see y'all in the next video Bye.